welcome to the sports segment here on AMC. I'm Benedict Tosi. Thanks so much uh, for joining me. And of course, UEFA Champions League action last night. We'll show you highlights and we will uh, preview what to expect later tonight in the competition. But here on the local scene, today is the last day of campaign for the individual seeking to get onto the new Ghana Football Association Executive Council. Now, in all, 11 people uh, from Premier Division 1, the RFAs, and the Women's League will make the escort. Now, one person who is stepped to make it is Ron Diaby, and the Heart of Lions uh, director tells us he is in constant touch with the delegates. All right, so we definitely will hear from Randy Abbey later, but it's got to do with the Ghana Football Association elections. And uh, Randy, as well as uh, other key members uh, like George Amwakon, uh, Fred Achi of uh, Ashanti Gouda, are all vying for uh, that uh, executive council. And the elections is coming up uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow, Thursday, as well as Friday, that's where we're going to have uh, the two elections. So uh, we can take a listen to George Amwakon, who also wants to get onto the executive council on the Premier League clubs ticket. I presume as an individual, we would want to ensure that there's, I would want to ensure that there's transparency and fair play to all clubs and all stakeholders. What would be that one key thing or the key things that will get you onto the council? Is it going to be your experience, how long you've been in a game or what you're doing now? Personally, I think uh, my experience will count. What I've been able to achieve in football will count. The stage in which our football is is a factor. You need experienced people, you need those who have been tried and tested to be able to go through without making further mistakes. We need to turn this football industry around as quickly as possible. So that was Asante Kotoko CEO George Yamakun. His club Kotoko are preparing for uh, their Confederation Cup game. That's the playoff against San Pedro of Ivory Coast uh, this coming Sunday and something that uh, we'll build up uh, to uh, ahead of that game this coming weekend. All right, that's how we end sports. I'm Benedict Tools. Join us at 2 on Sports today, our major sports bulletin on this platform. Until then, keep watching, join us, and the show continues after this short break. Don't go away.